Welcome back to my channel. I've got a lovely journal to show you today, the Black Bear. It's a journal that I have done for Mrs. Cog and it is full of lots of Mrs. Cog pictures and her kits and also lots of other kits. So I'll try and remember as I go through to point out all the different ones but it's a bit of a combination this one it's really a garden themed journal but it has a bear on the cover for a very good reason now it is a soft covered journal it's made with a fabric an upholstery fabric which is a very 
mustardy sort of yellow colored fabric it has three signatures very fat as you can see it's got lots of stuff stuffed in there it has an embroidered bear on the cover and lots of pieces of lace a little piece of old doily and a lovely piece of lace that I do believe Liz gave to me in some happy mail so um, I hope you like this Liz I've tied it up with just a little piece of some seam binding because it's soft and it is quite fat but you can take a lot of stuff out to sort of slim it down if you just want a writing journal so inside we have ooh, a sweet little frog down here because I do believe Liz has a thing about frogs so I've put some frogs in for Liz that one's on a little Tim Holtz pin and I've just dyed a little piece of doily there I did that in some turmeric to give it that beautiful sunflower yellow colour we've got a lovely tag in here that came from Wendy's journal adventures um, tutorial that she made these sweet little pockets so we've got one of those and that is one of Mrs Cog's lovely butterfly pictures that she has in her kits and I also have a sweet little tag here a paper clip tag which is all collaged and that dear little pot plant was a gift that came in some happy mail so on this side we have a lovely tag here that's been included in the, the journal from Helen so Helen's one of the ladies in my group who made this beautiful sunflower tag for Liz and she's done a lovely job of it she's got some beautiful lace and she's collaged up with some papers and these gorgeous sunflowers with little buttons very pretty so we have that we've got some lovely garden papers here and I do believe they were paper mania paper pack for the little garden theme and chapter one kit has all these lovely birds and beautiful flowers and lovely garden ones too so they're throughout the book as well so here's a sunflower that I painted just a bit of a watercolour sunflower to make a pocket and I've got a lovely sunflower postcard inside of there so I'll pop that one back in there I've got a little set of garden tools on this one I think that was from ooh, Victoria's Victoria Designs I think kit a little bit of collaging and a cute little caterpillar here I've also put the dates like the months through so that Liz can jot down in her greenhouse all the little jobs she has to do throughout the year so it's kind of a garden diary really it's got lots of room for writing and lots of space with days and lines to actually add in little jobs that you want to do or remember to do in the garden got a little pocket there and a little bookmark and another of the little sunflower postcards which are very cute we have this lovely letter E here practicing your E's and a little clipping from an old magazine about preserving because I know Liz loves her preserving and it's part of her life on the mountain is to um, be self-sufficient and preserve all that she grows for the winter months this is one of Liz's own kits it's a gorgeous wildflower one with a lovely little poetry saying on it and I've stamped a little snail on there and inside I've got one of Liz's 
luscious ladies because she had sunflowers on her and and I know Liz loves her sunflowers. There's lots of sunflowers in this book. So we've got lots of writing area, writing space. We've got some cute little stickers and grasshopper stamps and some dear little trinkets. That's a little garden shovel, trowel. I've put some little tabs on the pages and that's what I've linked the little trinkets to. There's another little grasshopper there. So this is quite large even though it's a soft covered journal. It's still got a lot packed in it. Here are some bees that I painted. Um, just a little watercolour practice. And I'll list below where you can actually go and learn to do some watercolour if you'd like to learn. It's quite fun and very relaxing. I have a kitty here. This one's I've, I've called Grey Kitty because I know that Liz has at least three kitties in her household and so I've put lots of kitties here. So most of what's in here are sort of the things that turn up in her garden or you will find in her garden and she has lots of deer. I know she puts lots of deer photos up so I've added some deer. There's a little pocket here and that has a seed packet in it so you can actually collect some seeds that's a little Liberty Print of London tab there in the yellow flowers another of the months here I've got a little possum now you're not likely to find him in Liz's garden but you will find him in my garden that's an Australian brush tail possum we have a lot of brush tail possums for pets here that just come and go of their own free will but they like to make a nuisance of themselves or come and get a feed and hang about. Some chooks there. I don't think Liz has chooks but we have a lot of chooks in our garden. Now here we've got a little morning dove. I know that Liz has morning doves in her garden. She's putting up photographs of her doves which is this one here is one of her lovely little doves and they are so pretty and that's a flip so you can actually write underneath that if you want to there's lots of writing space in here so we've got a little dove coat there for them to hide in and here we've got ES which is Liz's initials and they come from Susan Taylor Brown's kit she has the most gorgeous kit at the moment with all different colours they come in too with the letters and they're so beautiful so I put the E and the S in there I've also added a dear little frog which is from my garden and I know that she loves her froggies so I've added a little cute froggy and I often get froggies in the water pipes where I put the water out onto the garden they like to hang out there so that's one of my little froggies eco dyed page and that one is one of Gibbard's lovely um, pages a little tuck spot view with some butterflies and plants there I've got another cat here with a cute little puppy and that says 1900 on the top there on the other side of that we have bees and that's another one of Gibbard's lovely bee cards from her collection so we pop that back in there if I can reach so that can go either way in there it's just a little flip folder there I'm just at an awkward angle here for putting things in and out friendships are sewn one stitch at a time that's a little gift from a lady in my group Jean who makes these beautiful cards here we've got Harry which is another of the cats in Liz's little collection a visiting cat, share cat and we've got some herbs along here and it's it's kind of a little game, guess the herb these little sayings here come from Susan Taylor Brown she has a lovely collection of different little nature poems and sayings and different things which are lovely this paper here is handmade paper from Nepal it's made from the Daphne bark 
and it has an ink drawing on it. In here we've got a beautiful big sunflower which is very bright and cheerful and we've got some little orange flowers dangling off the bottom up there. Got a lovely leaf, another from Susan Taylor Brown's kits and just typed sunflower there. So that's the other side of the Nepalese paper. It's very nice, it's got quite a nice texture to it. This is coffee dyed paper. Another of the months and a dear little caterpillar. We've got lots of flowers, floral bits and pieces. A lovely pocket here that says storytellers with some kind of lovely bulb and another one of those gorgeous sunflower tags in the top which are very pretty. Pop that in there. Here we've got a paint, paint chart which Oh, if I can get my hand across there, sorry. Has some lovely paints called Spiced Butternut, Fuzzy Yellow and Rise and Shine, which I thought sounded just lovely. I love the names they give these paints. And this little pocket has rosemary on it, so it has a little message about um, some people believe rosemary improves your memory. It is said that Greek scholars wore wreaths of it on their heads. In Hamlet, Shakespeare, Shakespeare wrote, there's rosemary, that's for remembrance. We've got a tag over here with some carrots and a cute little worm. I just love him. He's gorgeous, isn't he? So no doubt he'll be found in the garden somewhere. And we have a hothouse down here with lots of zucchinis, peas, pumpkins, beans growing madly. It says, watch your step, these sneaky veggies might soon take over your garden. I thought that was cute. Um, Gibbard's lovely eco-dyed papers. Very pretty. Lovely tree. We've got a turtle dove over here. This side, some more writing space. And one of those lovely flower cards which is tucked in. Sorry, I can't it out without reaching and bumping the camera. It's on in a lovely fabric pocket there which again is made from the Liberty print paper. It's got some yellow roses on it and Lucy's just popped up there to say hello. From the Honey Puddle Seed Company which is also Honey, Pud Honey Puddle Digitals, a sunflower card and a little pollinate pocket. And we've got memoranda there to write notes on. Lots of little flower stickers and little birdie stamps all through. These beautiful flowery pages from chapter one. Little gum boots stamped over here. Little birds and pot plants. It's just packed full of vegetables and flowers and all different things to do with the garden. There's a lovely pocket over here. Um, with the chapter one papers and some really antique doily there which looks a bit like tatting I think. Horticulture from Tracy of course. A lovely Tracy label and this is another one of Wendy's little flip pockets and I actually have a lovely poem on there, The Night. more Tracy label here. This one here is another of Susan Taylor Brown's from her collection and this is a lovely little pocket here that flips up the long envelope and has a little sticker just sitting in there. Beautiful sunflowers. We have some velvet ribbon along here and some gorgeous tape, washi tape, pot plants and sayings again some more calendars and another lovely kitty cat in a watercolour and you can just flip the kitty out and there's a lovely piece there which says gardening for women and it's April 30 days so that's a lovely vintage piece which you might enjoy reading 
So we have these lovely Do Crafts Paper Mania papers from their kit and they have such lovely little drawings. This has got sketches of bird houses and gum boots and bird nests and really lovely little garden bits and pieces and that's just a little envelope full of stickers that I've just added in there for Liz to use on the pages. Another of the beautiful cats, gorgeous kitties and that just tucks into a little corner pocket there. Got another of Susan's proverbs there. Deer, a lovely deer ribbon. This paper was coffee dyed on a rusty rusty tin like a rusty biscuit slice tray and that's what brings up all these lovely speckles and spots. This is an embroidered machine embroidered deer, a little tuck spot there and a lovely lovely picture of a deer there. Um, gorgeous photographs which came from a lady on Paulette Slater's page so I will put a link below where you can um, see those too if you want and we've got some buttercups in there which are cute we've got another one of those cute little pockets here that you undo they're like a little secret pocket and you open them up and there's a picture inside gorgeous picture a little piece of velvet ribbon because it feels nice to touch I like to add things that you can actually feel so that it adds to the joy of touching and feeling and reading your own book in your own hands. Even this cut out die has a lovely texture to it. These gorgeous geese on the chapter one papers. A nice sticker. One of Liz's lovely sunflowers from her sunflower kit and a little what to do today card to just write in the bits and pieces that you want to do for your day lovely wheelbarrow cardinal and I've just typed cardinals down the bottom and that's a flip so you can write under it and Mrs Cog has the cardinals visit her garden so I've added those some forks and shovels and hoes and rakes that you'd find in your garden shed lots of writing room ladybug over here and Liz has ladybugs that turn up in her craft room from the garden her garden kind of blends in with her <laughs> the outside comes in if you know what I mean <laughs> tab here which again is the Liberty of London fabric it's a beautiful soft cotton and it makes lovely tabs very pretty butterfly paper really pretty colourful got a watering can on here lovely watering can I think that might be Jibbid's, Jibbid's paper too so watering can over here we've got the bunnies because well Liz has bunnies in her garden and I have bunnies in my garden but I do love the bunnies they're so nice to watch they really are so, so that is like a, it isn't a CD envelope but it's like, it's an envelope designed in the same sort of way. It's made from like natural paper. So we've got a bunny on the back of there and we've got a lovely bunny stamp there which is made from a lino cut. Really nice one. Got some pressed flowers here which are dried flowers from my garden daisies and dianthus there I think that's a pyrethrum daisy we have a raccoon postcard over here and I've put those in because Liz has her own little raccoons Mr and Mrs Rocky Raccoon that come to visit her so I've popped those in there for her to have a bit of a smile at the raccoons that come to visit her garden we've got a nice poem here which mentions the sunflowers it's by James Montgomery 
and it talks about the sunflowers and there's a lovely picture here of sweet little girls and their sunflower so I thought you'd like that. So here we've got a couple of Australian animals, the kangaroo and the koala stamp and some little daisies in the middle. So there's lots of spots to write there and add your own little bits and pieces. That chapter one paper is really pretty. It has so much piled on there to look at. So busy but colourful and it looks nice on both the white paper and the cream. You get a different look altogether. This is a more vintage sort of look where the other's much crisper. So we've got some ribbon there and a little bit of lace. Over here we've got lots of writing room. Stinky Skunk is another visitor to Liz's garden. What a character he is. <laughs> we hear lots of tales about Stinky, so I'm sure she'll have plenty to write. It's a lovely little poem on there. I'm pretty sure that's Gibbard's paper collection. Lovely sunflowers, and I've got some washi on the top and bottom of that. Cute little chicks trying to pull a worm. Some more plant stickers. Lots of spots to write and work out your garden and plan for the next season. Pretty things to inspire you. Gloves and forks. Gardening tools. That, I do believe, is a marigold. One of those little marigolds. Cute. And we've got this beautiful one here, which is pretty. Pretty flowers, stickers. Now that's an embossed piece of cardstock, which is light cream. And I've just put a cute little water, water watering can of flowers sticker on the top. More writing space. This is one of Liz's lovely bush turkeys that she has roaming around occasionally handsome looking creatures. She has one called Gertrude that comes to visit a lot. Lone Gertrude. Another of the chapter one pretty pages there. I just love that gorgeous foxglove. Really lovely. So we've added we're up to August now. The bears. Well, I <laughs> I really didn't know which bear was which because Liz has so many bears come to visit and that is why I put a bear on the cover because every time you look there's a new bear popping up. She has Fred Bear, George Bear, Frida Bear, Ella Bear, Trixie Bear, Grandpa Bear and Bubba Bear and Fredo. So there's, over the years there have been many many bears come to visit and she's watched them grow from um, small bears to large bears and obviously that's that's one that's look at the size of the paws they obviously grow so big they don't stay little bears for very long here we've got another one of the cats so Liz has Grey Kitty Harry and Tramp and another of the London Liberty print fabrics a stamp of a poppy Got some really pretty washi tape here which has berries and lots of sort of dried leaves and flowers. Pretty. A spot to write and list things. Lots of writing room. So it's a journal that has a lot of space to write in, which I think is what Liz prefers to do in her journals, is to actually write. So if I just move this over a little bit so you can see this side better an envelope here which has lots and lots of pockets so in it I have really stacked a lot of tags we've got little stamps we've got playing cards tucked in there we've got little Australian animals um, we've got seed packets so if she finds some seeds somewhere she can pop them in a little seed packet I think that might be one of Tracy's seed packets We've got lots of little tags to write little things on, little reminders. So there's a real lovely little collection there, some beautiful strawberries. I know she grows strawberries in her garden. Yes, Lucy. A strawberry 
little tag there with a B, which is gorgeous. And you can write on the back of these because I've put some coffee dyed paper on there. And that's just a strip of calico down there that holds this lovely big pocket in the back, which I'll show you shortly. I've got Tramp on there because that's a cat that looks a lot like Tramp and you can flip that up and write underneath for more writing space. Some lovely flowers on that side and some more of Chapter 1's lovely paper. We've got Flower there, the description of Flower which is beautiful and a watering can. On the top here I've got Groundhog because I know Liz has Groundhogs come to visit and that might be one of the little fellows just there. September, we've got a pocket there with some bits and pieces in that she might like to read. Just a couple of little tags that you can write on the back of. Cute, just a little butterfly that I painted just quickly. Another of these gorgeous little trinkets. This one is like hedge scissors or um, herb scissors. This little pocket has a pressed flower in it. And in here we've got a little collection. We've got a lovely saying that came from Liz. Cog says we can find inspiration wherever we look and she has her gorgeous little woodpecker upside down pecking away. That's just so cute, Liz. <laughs> I love it. We have a little pocket there with Summer Secret. A seed or two from me to you to plant at leisure. Yield garden pleasure and some cups and saucers so we've got a cute little collection in there and just a little collage section there around the pressed flower here I've got an old-fashioned sketch plan for a revision of a garden flower garden like a herb border. It's very intricate. Quite pretty. The geese. I've got a sunflower here. I think this is from Liz's fairy collection. Do you believe in fairies? Say quick that you believe. If you believe, clap your hands. Tinkerbell. Very cute, that one. And we've got some more of that beautiful paper from... There you go. You can see the whole piece there from Nepal with the ink drawn flowers on and I'll just put a couple of little buttons on the bottom of there hanging down to add a bit of colour. This one here is a eucalyptus blossom stamp and so that tells you about the fairy November. So there we have a gardener tending to his flowers in the glass house. This is a lovely little one with the shovels and the bees on. And in this little belly band, which is berries, I have Code 6, Bunny Inside the Food Garden. Look out, trouble. <laughs> Gorgeous, Liz. <laughs> Absolutely adore that. <laughs> so here I've got all the bunnies because I know Liz has lots of bunnies. So do we have lots of bunnies, but I do love them. I really love to watch them bounce around and poke about in the garden. So I've made like a fabric tuck here and I've hand stitched it with a few crosses and just some little cute little stitches around the bunny. And I've made like a little cotton tail there out of French knots, like his little cotton tail. And this is all embroidered bunny here. Added three little buttons because, well, that's Liz, isn't it? And her buttons. That's her trademark, her three little buttons. Over here we've got a lovely pressed flower from the garden, a real one, and a, and a gorgeous bunny photo. So we're up to December now. We have a tuck there and an envelope for putting seeds in again. These are gorgeous little envelopes from Chapter 1. And another of the Liberty of London prints some coffee dyed paper, another little flip and some sunflower paper. 
little stamp of vegetables because this does a wonderful job growing all her veggies and harvesting all her veggies. Beautiful picture of a sunflower. Another Honey Puddle Seed Company tag and a dear little pocket from chapter one. A tag that I created and I've hand sewn that and it kind of does look like a very warped sunflower, doesn't it? <laughs> it's quite colourful. has a little ruffle and some French knots and all hand stitched. So that just tucks into a belly band there. I'll put that back in later. This one here is a lovely big pocket and it's very thick and strong and you could poke just about anything into it. This was made by one of the ladies in my group, Leanne. We put a lot of time into creating all these lovely petals and stitching them all down. It's quite a big pocket so I have sewn it in with a piece of calico so that it can easily be moved if you need to. It's not hard to, to take it out or move it somewhere else. But it also is designed so that it can wrap around the other pages. So in a way it protects all the little hanging bits and pieces from getting caught up. So I've made it kind of wrap around and we've got a lovely bear on here, a beautiful bear trinket. Here's a lovely standing bear and I've seen Liz put photos up of her bears standing up like that. Gorgeous. So that's a really thick fabric pocket there. And inside that we've got a collection of bits and pieces. This little pocket is from Jean in, in the group who's added some sweet little teddy bears and we've got uh, just a couple of spare little bits and pieces in there and then we have the back so that wraps around there we've got a secret pocket in here so you can put something secret in there and I'll be putting a couple of little gifts for Liz in that secret pocket so that's the fabric and we've come to the end now and I'd like to say thank you very much for watching and um, I'll see you next time Bye for now.